Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Lab Party. So I've got, uh, I built up the rest of the farms. There are 10 layers here. Uh, they all connect to this bubble column. As you can see, there's kind of just potatoes coming up. Pretty regular. Whoa. And it just filled up a shulker box. Which means we now have another shulker box out here. Blop. So I got a bunch of uh, potatoes. Each of the shulker boxes, what, 1,500 potatoes? So, I don't know. It's a bunch. Um, <clears throat> I fill up a, a full double chest of shulker boxes filled with potatoes. That's... Whoa. Oh, that shulker box got broken, but it didn't get picked up. Oh, that's that's not good. I have to play with that and figure out what's going on. New one got placed though, so that's good. And I somehow picked up a potato too. Huh? Indeed. So let's uh, take a look down here. What's going on? Down all the way down. So there's ten of these layers. I was gonna do eight, uh, and then decided when I got eight put in that there was enough room for me to do some more. What was that? Oh, there's a bat stuck there. So here's here's the bottom layer. There's somebody in there, right? Oh, I can hear him. Unless that's the guy above. There he is. Yeah, hi. He keeps trying to plant those spots and it doesn't happen. It gets picked up through these Shulker boxes goes into this dropper here. I can just put that potato in there. <clears throat> which then uh, gets picked up by this comparator through this block, which is super cool. And then uh, triggers this piston and pushes those observers together and ticks out the uh, this soul sand block, which actually triggers this dropper, which drops stuff into the soul sand and up into the water stream. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's, uh, should not have that there. Like that was miscellaneous storage when I was building things. Uh, and then I go up another layer. Blop. There's that guy. And his, his collections go into this dropper here. Similar situation, only I didn't have the soul sand in the middle of the column so I did it off to the side basically same thing hi mr. bat how are you uh, so yeah so that is how it all works um, as you can hear there's kind of a constant stream of potatoes and based on some basic timing that I did I'm thinking it probably takes something like 20 or 30 minutes to fill up a shulker box um, between all the ten layers, which uh, which is pretty cool. It might actually be faster than that. I need to do some actual timing, but um, I have shulker boxes in here, ready to go into service, and yeah. If that shulker box got broken, ended up underneath this um hopper there. I'll have to do some tests to make sure that I'm not losing shulker boxes filled with potatoes. Not that I ever need this many potatoes. So next up is the the carrot farm. Oh, and I and I placed glass around the top of this just so that if something did happen to get in here, um, it wouldn't be able to just jump down in there and eat the uh, the villager. I had a villager go missing from one of the layers while it was in progress and I didn't have it covered. I don't know if that's what happened, but that's one possibility. Then I've got a hole here where the carrot farm is going to go, so I need to build that. And I want to do it. Same thing, 10 layers. Um, 
yeah, so I've got... <sighs> See, I had... There was a villager sitting in this boat. He's not there anymore. So he went missing. Whether he got killed by something, I hope not. I don't think that's the case. I think I have everything lit up in here. Um, so I've got this guy, I've got that guy over there, and then I've got three more over here that all have carrots in their inventory. So that means I have five carrot farmers. So I need five more. Carrot farmer holding pen. So I need to pull those guys out of their thing, bring them over here. What are you all looking at? You're all looking at different things. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> And these guys I always intended to, to use to make a breeder of some sort. Um, I'm going to wait for 1.14 because this should become easy. I should be able to actually get these guys to breed without sky access, which was the limiting factor here. And then, <clears throat> as we already talked about, I want to rehab this village a little bit better so that the villagers can actually live in it. And then I want to place some beds, get rid of this bed over here. So it doesn't confuse any of the villagers and then should be good. I should be able to have a, a population of villagers that live around there should be able to have wild cats breeding and living in the village. And then once I build the carrot farm, I can tear out these pens and potentially put in more farms along here. So this is all very exciting. I was hoping that that guy was just invisible for some reason, but we appear, appear to have an entity, entity, entity disappearing problem, which is not good. So I, I do need to go and confirm that all these guys are still there, <clears throat> but this guy's here and he's doing his thing. Oh, he just grabbed some potatoes and yeah. Ah. So, uh, and this, this, this little setup here is the same as all the others stuff comes in, goes up around here on top of this hopper, which feeds it down into shulker box sitting on that spot. And then when it gets full, when this is a shulk, this is a comparator comparing the fullness of that shulker box to a block of redstone. So it's, it had, that shulker has to be completely full before it triggers. And that triggers this um, this piston, which breaks the box. And there's uh, um, <clears throat> hoppers under here to catch the broken choker box. And then it triggers this dispenser, which is filled with more choker boxes to replace it. And yeah, and then I've got buttons out front where I can eject and feed a new shulker box in if I need to. And I've got little signs with potatoes. So it's all, it's all nice and consistent. It all looks the same. And that. Um, I'm thinking I may have to replace these doors on my, my shulker box loader huts so that the villagers can't open them and walk in. But I guess if, if a villager makes his way in here, it's not gonna ruin anything, I don't think. But I may need to replace these with iron doors. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's that's about it. Let me go put that chest away. And then let's go back to the community area because I need to I need to check on something. Oh hey look, a wither skeleton. Let's go see if we can get a skull. I don't see anything else in here. Oh, except that wither skeleton. Oh, that's a regular skeleton. Let's get rid of him. Hey, buddy. Yeah, come on over. I'm right here. Oh, you can't. You tried to move on the sidewalk. But you can get under, but you can't move. No skull. Okay, he was the only one. Oh, there's a baby pig man. All right, no skull. I should probably expand this too. Uh, apparently now, 
and I guess it's been this way for a little while, there's a external boundary box around the entire fortress and any nether brick inside that boundary where their skeletons can, can uh, spawn on. So that's news to me, I did not know that. Um, but it would allow me to expand out the the thing as a whole. Of course, I replaced a lot of the nether brick with concrete, um, which might have an adverse effect on things. Oh, this could be a little dangerous. I don't know the last time I uh, I slept. Okay, let's get in my trident shop. Need to check this. I haven't been in here in a little while. Bank Splash Trident Shoppy. No riptides. No. Oh! Oh, somebody bought a bunch of uh, fixer upper tridents. I need to re replenish. Channeling tridents? No. Oh, oh my gosh. Got a stack of diamonds. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've got diamonds. I need to go out to the uh, trident farm and see what I got out there. Because I need some fixer uppers and I need to make a few more. I need to make some more of these. Right? Because I should make them like this. Unbreaking, mending, loyalty, and impaling. And that'll be easier to do in 1.13 than 1.14. Okay. Oh, you know what? That was a weird little clicking noise. This might be interesting to build. Instead of just having this end in a glass wall. Have this expand out and build like a, do a water dome underneath here. That's all underwater, but still a, its own structure. And uh, put an enchanting table out there. So people come in and get the fixer upper tridents. Can uh, immediately try to fix them up. Yeah, let's go to the library. I doubt anyone has done anything over there, but... Let's see, because I might have some Trident related books in the library. Well, you know, while we're checking shops, let's go check the potion shop. Oh, so we could use some restocking here. Yeah, definitely. So this is good incentive to build out the brewing machine at the witch farm, which was always the intention. Let's go into the library and see what's going on in here. I'm guessing I slept somewhat recently. Oh, book drop off, no new books. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna have to like, do something with you. Well, there's... So I'll just have to put... Oh. People have been coming in here and doing stuff. Okay, that's awesome. Didn't replace the anvil when it broke, but... We could do something about that. Okay. Nice. Um, oh. I just had an idea. We will... Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I don't think there's anything underground underneath here. Barb may have dug some tunnels and stuff around, but we'll go find out. I should build a second layer. We should have stairs that go down and go down into the stacks. Expand the library and then we can categorize. We can have uh, shelving that categorizes the books. So right now we've got some basic categories like armor and um, 
weapons and tools, but we can sort of, if you're looking for a mending book, we can have a mending box of mending books. I don't know how long they'll last, but while we're here, let's go out to the iron farm and see what the situation is there. Oh, nice. Single rocket takeoff. You know, Barb Makes Things has been working on her stuff at the amusement park. What is going on up here? Are these supposed to be a crown? Okay. Iron farm. And I'm sure those gold blocks have been there for a long time. Ah, okay. Oh, oh. All right. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. We can we can fly out Oops. to the amusement park area, but I don't. I know that the dig has continued, but I don't think there's been um, much else. Because I believe there are new construction projects going on elsewhere that I don't know where they are. So we will save that for later when those are intended to be revealed. And I think that will do it for now. This has been Theron, this is the Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye. Oh, wow. I think this is the jungle kind of along, it's, it's a big jungle, but it's the jungle alongside the community area, just the back side of it. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. Some, oh, this is probably one of those projects that I'm not supposed to know about. Um, there's a beacon here. Yep. And a skeleton horse. And, uh oh, drowned with... Oh. Oh, goodness. There's a bunch of drowned here. Another skeleton horse. Oh, that's right. You can ride those, I think, underwater, can't you? They don't drown. Is there an entrance to this? This could get kind of hairy if, with all these drown. I mean, they're pretty slow. Oh, that looks like an entrance. How about we get out of F5 and Planet Hulk. This is Eric Hulk's place, airlock. Oh, nice. Oh, this is cool. Uh, wow, this is big. This is really impressive. Oh, wow. See, it doesn't take that much. You get a... Uh... Use a, a voxel tool to build the dome and underwater. We, we're outside the range of the beacon here, but oh, this is super cool though. Saw half slab, so this is non spawnable. This is pretty neat. I will have to check in with him and oh, look, a bed. It's not nighttime, but this is pretty cool. Multiple layers, multiple levels. Ow. Uh, obviously still under construction. Wow, it's gonna be big. This is super cool. Um, okay, I'm spoiling things here, but um, I stumbled across. Oh, hey, look, a, a portal that obviously will want to be hooked up. Let's get, uh, let's get a coordinate here, whoops.
a screenshot of that. Okay. Very nice. This is super cool. Um, neat. Okay. I think that's about it. Um, oh, nice use of trap doors to cover the lighting. This is super cool. All right, I don't have much else to say. I'm going to have to go through and swim through all those drowned, but, um, and we're not that far away from the rest of the world. So, oh, look, he's got a clock right here. It's almost nighttime. I'm going to wait until it gets night, go sleep in that bed up there. That was upstairs, right? Yeah. And then uh, continue heading where I was going. Yeah, he's been spending a lot of time here, I think, just based on the number of drown and the numbers that I saw holding tridents, which I should switch to. Um, the difficulty in this area is appears to be pretty high right now, so very good. All right, anyway, that was that's that. This is again, it's Theron. It's Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.